Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Fresh out of Angola State Penitentiary. Okay. Jay Merck, what's popping, man? What's popping? What's the business there? Man, how you feeling? You home? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to GDP. He got uh. the tip. Good vibes. You got the man. What's what's popping, bro? We gonna change the plans right now, bro. Man, everything popping, man. It's good to be home, man. After 12 summers. You know, got my man cheated. You know what I'm saying? We we making it happen. You hear me? Putting in work, getting straight to the business. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I've been home a week. So I'm trying to make it count. You know what I'm saying? I got people depending on me. You know what I'm saying? Niggas in a slammer, you know, they looking forward to this shit happening for a nigga. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't want nothing from a nigga. Nigga just want to see it happen because nigga knew. From knee high to a duck. You know what I'm saying? That slamming up Paris, nigga. Yeah. They gonna know if I'm gonna come home and get that business clear, so we gonna have the business for sure. Like I said, there's a lot of people depending on nigga wanna see a nigga win, you hear me? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, the grind don't stop, you hear me? Bro, and it's, it's so it's so good to see, like, G been telling me about you. Right. So, I, and earlier today, I'm like, bro, this nigga like BTY 2.0 type, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My dog, long you know live young. Saying? Like, like you got the, you got the, the energy, the swag, y'all voice kind of the same. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's like, man, and, and it's real. Huh. You know what I'm saying? So, man, the, the energy you exerting right now is just great. You For know sure. what I'm saying? But I want to get it straight into it. St. Bernard Projects. Huh. That's where you from. Yes, indeed. Talk about it. Hey, you know, I'm out there B, you hear me? St. Bernard, Gibson. Yeah. 3722 apartment B right there by the ramp. Y'all know what Mr. Joe Truck is if you round if you from around that way, you hear me? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm out I'm out of project, you hear me? Real slums, you hear me? Yeah, what, what was it like being in St. Bernard? Cause you know I, I hear St. Bernard and then you hear the mouth and then you hear all these other different type of projects. What yeah. was so special about St. Bernard where you were at? I mean, you know, fuck I ain't you know coming up. I used to bounce around a lot, you know. My, my my daddy was living uptown, you know. My I got people, you know. I got family and shit from uptown. I got cousins out of Cali, you you know. My daddy used to be fucking with bitches in the mouth and shit. So, you know, I used to be everywhere, but you know, ain't nothing like home, you hear me? Yeah. And Saint Bernard, you know, nigga went to school around there. I'm saying I played ball for Willie Hall, you know, played football. So, yeah, you know, that's home, you hear me? That's a nigga stomping ground, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. For sure. So like, like, what's hardheads? Like, why they call everybody from that section the hardheads? What's... I mean, fuck. Honestly, I can't. I don't even know, really. You hear me? I just always, I was told, and I, I, I never did no research on it like that. But you know, hardhead. That's the seven wall. That's our section. You hear me? That's that's our slogan. You hear me? Skullheads, hardhead, all that. That's us. You hear me? Yeah. yeah. Well, so you know. I'm gonna just phrase it. They they always say oh, I was I was this age when I jumped off the porch. Yeah. I was this like when when did that happen? Like cause you were you running around St. Bernard, got into some shit. I mean, I used to be running around a project. You know I was young. You know I ain't gonna lie. I was I was a cab guy man. Okay. You know I used to get into shit at school. You know all the niggas in a project clown me won't. You know, take my bike and shit. I'm feeling like, you know what, fuck all that. I'm about to hit something, you hear me? So I'm going to the store. I'm buying cap guns, shooting at the niggas. Like, yeah, this is what it's going to be. You take my shit, you hear me? But I'm saying, you know, everybody grown now, shit different, you hear me? So we, you know, we we all we all fuck with each other, you hear me? And just everybody grown, do their own thing. But it's all love in the hood, you hear me? Good now. Yeah. Now, and, and just your story alone, bro, you say 12 years. 12 years. Man, how, like when you first got out, like, man, you, like, look, I gotta give me some pussy. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go eat the right food and get some steak. For like, sure. what was that first day out like? Because cause the thing now, when artists go do a joke for a few months, they'll come out with a first day out video or something like they've been gone, but you've been gone. See, I ain't even gonna lie, like, I felt like. You know, even in the can, I was getting money, you hear me? I was trapping, like, I'm violating, like, fuck the people. I'm about to find a way to get these packs in, and I'm about to move this shit and eat, because I got to come home to some bread, you hear me? Yeah. You know, I ain't had no family that was situated, that was, you know, once a nigga come home, have a, a house, a car, clothes and all that. You know, my people struggling, you hear me? So, 
I'm saying all the plans and dreams and shit that I had, you know, I told my people what it was. I'm like, man, I gotta make a way, especially for my mama, you hear me? I'm saying, you know, my mama's sick, you know, so my mom be in and out of the hospital and shit, so I always told my mama, you know, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm saying, you did your part by bringing me into the world, you hear me? So I'm gonna do my part by making sure your world be bright as this light, you hear me? For sure. Straight up, straight up. Now, so, was it, I mean, was you, when you first went inside, did you, you didn't go straight to the Angola, did you? Nah, uh uh-uh. I, I did once I left the parish, yeah. So what part, what parish you got locked up in initially? I was in Orleans Parish, in a in an old parish building, you hear me? Okay. Yeah. So, and then, so it was in Orleans Parish, so, and you did 12, so that means you was like, what, 14, 15 when this happened? 16? I was 15. 15. I come to jail like two months before I made 16, you hear me? Okay. So. And, was the, the initial case was like murder straight up, or, or it was? Shit, it was multiple cases. I'm talking about attempt murder. Robbery, murder, manslaughter, it was it was serious. Like I'm talking about them people just went to just throwing shit on a nigga, you hear me? So I had a fight a you know, swiggle my way out the loop, you hear me? Mm. I couldn't stand that bitch forever. So the to the DA and the they was on you. Man, it was on me. I'm talking all all through rap lyrics and he'll say, you hear me? Mm. It wasn't nothing concrete or none of that, you know, fuck, I got a criminal background from juvenile, but you know, fuck, nigga ain't never had no conviction, so you can't say I did nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What Slim said, G Day, without well, no evidence, I ain't do this shit, right? Straight up. I guilty. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Real talk. But at 15 years old, you you were accused of murder. Right. And you went straight in. Right. So you did five years in the parish? I was in a parish like, like six and a half, six years and nine months, something like that. And then they shipped you to Angola. Then they shipped me to Angola. So the parish. Well, what was the real difference between the parish jail and then you going to the state prison? See, in the parish, it's like, it was treachery, yeah? Like, I didn't, I didn't see some shit in there. You know, I ain't gonna speak on that, but I didn't saw some shit in that parish, especially being young. Because, you know, I was on a juvenile tail, you hear me? 15, 16, 17. You know, once I made 17, I went to adult population, so... You know, the till I was on, you know, it was good because there was niggas out the hood, niggas who know me, niggas who was familiar with me all throughout the jail, fucking with the music and all that, so it was good, you hear me? Like, I ain't never really had no problems or nothing unless I go to court and meet up with niggas who, you know, talking about the case and feel like they want to get it on and shit. But other than that, I really ain't had no problems. Like, you know, it was a it was a smooth stay until I got shipped, you hear me? You know, nigga got into shit, you know, that jail, but fuck. It, it was, it was, it was, I dealt with it, you hear me, until I was, until I pushed out, you know, start my next journey at Angola, you hear me?